This Dragonite can tank and can hit hard. You can reach up to 40 strength without changing into a dragon by equipping strength enhancements. It also has a high armored AC that can reach nearly 50 without buffs. Hello guys, Genuine Gaming here, and in this video, I'm going to share to you my main character build, which I enjoyed playing. I'm not really going for an overpowered character, but a thematic one. My Dragonite is inspired by Davian in Dota. The primary goal of my build is that it wears heavy armor, a melee build, can transform into a dragon, and can cast a little spell. By the way, this is the first time I made a build video for Pathfinder. If you have suggestions as how to present it, let me know in the comment below as I would like to make this video as short as possible. Let me know if you want more details or not. The best way to do it is by being a Blood Rager with a Steel Blood archetype and go for a Draconic Bloodline. Draconic Bloodline does not really matter at all. It would just depend on what element you want to have as breath weapon and what element you want to have as resistance. To remain with the thematic, if you want to be evil, you choose a chromatic kind of dragon like red, blue, white, and black. And if you want to be good, you choose the metallic dragons like gold, brass, copper, and silver. I play this game on poor difficulty, but you can test it on hard as there's not much difference in the difficulty. I do not play much in the unfair difficulty because it is simply unfair. So, let's go to the build proper. So let's choose the Blood Rager and go for the Steel Blood archetype. For the race, it does not really matter, but if you choose another race aside from human, you will just fall one feet behind. I choose human for the build for the reason of an additional skill point that I will get per level so that I could dump off my intelligence for the stat. The problem of Blood Ragers is that they're going to need a lot of points for the abilities. They need strength for damage and attack rolls, dexterity for the armor class, constitution for the Blood Rage per turn, and charisma for spell casting. For the background, let's choose Martial Disciple for the improved and arm strike bonus feat as we go for the crane style feat later. Anyway, Martial Disciples, your background is still part of the theme as you're a fighter with a background of intense and rigorous training to be a great warrior. You came from an elite military academy or the local branch of a prestigious mercenary organization. For the ability points, we put 19 points for strength, 16 points for dexterity, dump off intelligence and wisdom, put 14 to constitution, and 14 to charisma. You need to put 14 points in Charisma so that we could cast 4th level spells. As a Blood Rager, we can only cast up to level 4 spells. For the skill points, it is very important to put on Knowledge Arcana and Persuasion. Knowledge Arcana to meet the Dragon Disciple requirement. Persuasion for the Cardigan Smash and Dreadful Carnage feat. For the third point, it's up to you. I just want to put in Use Magic Device since I want my character to use also scrolls to cast spells. For the feat, I choose Dodge. This is to mitigate the armor class penalty I get when I go for Blood Raging. This also prepares the character to get the crane style later in the game. Next is Weapon Focus to increase our attack rolls. This is a requirement for the Dreadful Carnage which is a very powerful feat. For the kind of weapon, it is up to you, but I would suggest Great Sword, as there are lots of Great Swords in the game, especially for Barbarians and Blood Ragers. For the Draconic Bloodline and Deity, it is up to you. For the rest of the levels, here is a table for your guide. This column is the feats you get by choosing a class. And this column is a bonus feat you get every time you get on an odd level. And here is a mythic feat that you get. This is approximately when you get it at a certain level. Like mythic rank 1 is at least at character level 6. Here is a table for levels 11 to 20. 
Here are some gameplay clips that I have for this build. This Dragonite can tank and can hit hard. You can reach up to 40 strength without changing into a dragon by equipping strength enhancements. It also has a high armored AC that can reach near 50 without buffs. I do not have problems playing with this character at early levels as it does not really need a companion to carry it. I just have a problem of hitting very high AC since it does not have much touch attack arsenals. Remember, it will be useless to let this character cast spells against enemies as his spell penetration ability is low. His Blood Rager spells should focus on spells that is for self-buff or buffing others. Later on in the game, as you acquire Mythic Angel ranks, you will gain spells that automatically overcome spells resistance like Storm of Justice and Bolt of Justice. So I hope you find the video helpful and do not forget to leave a like to let me know. And if you want more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous video, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Ciao!